Welcome to another tutorial episode. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to talk about Mary UI. And Mary UI is basically Laravel blade components that are actually made for LiveWire 3. And these components are styled around Daisy UI and Tailwind. So I want us to just install and then maybe just go through whatever it is that Mary UI offers. And at the end of everything, I believe this video will be useful to the extent that you can be able to see how you can be able to play around with this and see if you can be able to build nice user interfaces. So let us go ahead and do that. I want us to go ahead and install and I'm going to get started. And here we have installation. There is the automatic way of installing. I've attempted to work on it, but it seems as if the code does not uh, work perfectly. I have attempted to use it. And since that did not work for me, I would like to just do the manual way. Of course, if it is dependent on Tailwind and Daisy UI, of course, we have to install all those. So we have to install Livewire. We have to install Tailwind. We have to install uh, a Daisy UI and then now also be able to install the package, which is uh, the Mary UI package. So let me just go ahead and install everything that we have here. So the first thing that I want us to install is Livewire. I'm just going to paste it in the, cons in, in, in the terminal and click enter. As it installs, I'm going to pause the video. Livewire is fully installed. I want us to go ahead and install the Mary UI package. So composer require Rob Sotenorio forward slash Mary, whatever it is that we have here. And of course, the, the link for the Mary UI docs is Mary hyphen UI dot com. Uh, that is uh, the web page. But if you search Mary UI in the Google search, you'll be able to get it. So I'm going to install this one also and pause. Let us go ahead and install Tailwind CSS, Daisy UI, post TSS and auto prefix. So I'm going to use NPM. So I'm going to just copy whatever it is that we have here. VS Code has a limitation of using end end, so I'm going to do that in two sections. But if you are using any other terminal, you can be able to just copy that and use it at once. But I'm going to use npm, so I'm going to have npm and then paste whatever it is that we had there and hit enter to install. I'm not sure if. Um, has been yes I have a problem I need to have npm install like that and that we install for us all those packages I'm going to post after that we will run npx tailwind CSS in it to be able to create for us the configuration files going to hit enter and that is done I want us to also go and do some little bit of setting so inside the Tailwind CSS config we are going to add this so the components that we are using that are from Mary UI they are inside vendor directory so that's why we are including the vendor directory here but then of course we are looking inside the livewire folder app livewire for the livewire classes and we are also looking for the app view components and then the files and so on and so forth so let me just copy this and paste in a tailwind config so tailwind config js where we have content so inside content is where i'm going to paste all that 
And then of course, so this last line is the one that includes the Mary UI. And then of course, I want us to also require Daisy UI inside plugins. So where we have plugins down here, I want us to require Daisy UI like that. Of course, for issues of theme, you can be able to use the Daisy UI themes or you can be able to use the Tailwind CSS themes. It doesn't really matter. All of them can be able to just work for you. After that, we need to add this piece of code in our app.css. So I'm going to go to resources, views, resources, views, I mean, just resources, then CSS, app.css. And inside here, that is what I'm going to just paste. Do not know if I've copied, so let me paste and see. Yes, like that. And then of course, after that, I need to generate the layout. And this one is just live wire. So if you want to generate the layout file, you will run the command PHP artisan live wire full colon layout like that. And that you create for us the layout inside resources, views, and then components. So inside here, then inside the components, we have a folder called layouts and inside that we have app.plate. Then of course, above here, we can be able to include the CSS and the JavaScript files. So basically, we'll just paste it like this. Obviously, what we usually do normally when we are installing uh, any uh, CSS and JS inside a Laravel Blade file, whether it is inertia or whether you are working with just typical Blade files or whether you are working with Livewire. So basically, this is what we are going to do inside our, in this case, our app.blade.php. And obviously, the next thing we need to run is Yandev. In this case, for NPM, we are going to run NPM run dev like that and since our application is running on port 80 i want us to just do a little bit more and be able to add some few things to our layout and then we see how it will be able to display so there are very many components of course you can be able to go and check them out we have the layout and when we look at the layout, we have an example here of what our layout should look like. But when you try to implement whatever it is that is displayed here, you will have a sidebar. So it will look sort of like um, this uh, dashboard when a user logs in. So I want us to just maybe do something close to that, but maybe not exactly like that. The first thing that I need to include here before we go to the slot, I want us to have the navigation. So we will just use X nav like that. Then we will close it. If you have used the, the Laravel components, you can be able to know why we are using that. So now as you use X nav, of course, we can be able to have we can make it sticky. So in other words, it remains at the top. Sticky. Like that. So it will be sticky and then full width to span the entire width of our navigation bar. Then, of, of course, we can have the brand. So for brand, we just have X uh, slot. We can have a slot. And we will call it brand like that then of course i will close it and inside here we can have the brand so in laravel we usually have the brand that is the app name so in this case i'm just going to to call it um, my app but i can be able to call in the name of my laravel application from the um, from the env 
that is still possible we can be able to do that one here but let us just continue and then i want us to have the menu items so in this case those ones we are going to call them actions so i'm going to have x slot and then we are going to have actions and inside here is where i'm going to have our navigation links so in this case we can have an a tag and then href like that and then we can give it a name so for example we can have home and then i can be able to just copy whatever it is that we have here and then have about and then have something else so in this case home about and then we can have contact just sort of the way our web page would be of course we need to attach wire navigate so maybe for the home one because it be it will be the one that i'll be working on uh, you create a home um component so basically maybe this one i can be able to add wire navigate for the others i'm not going to use them per se so we will just leave them like that and then of course once we are done with the navigation then we go to the main so in this case i'm going to have x main and in this case we can say full width again if you want it to be full width like that and then you can close it but this one you are going to close it outside so let me just cut it and have it below our slot after that we can now have our content so this one we are going to have the placeholder x slot and then we are going to have it as content like that and then we can be able to close it here x slot content i think the last thing that we need to have is a footer so after the x main we can have x slot footer like that and then we can close it like that and inside here we can have some text maybe maybe let me just type in footer like that not that way just some text maybe i should write my footer like that so for us to be able to load and see how the navigation looks i need to create a component in this case we are going to to have a component called home so i'm going to just run the command php artisan make liveware and then of course we can pass in the name of our of our component in this case we are creating a component called home i'm going to hit enter of course it will create for us two things the liveware class and then it will also create for us the blade file so inside a folder called liveware so inside views resources views liveware now we have home.blade and i only want to just load a route for this uh, um, component that you have created and that is the only thing i'm going to do and maybe a little bit more later so let me just clear this uh, text that we have here for purposes of my content being a little bit more visible and what i'm going to include up here is use app um live wire so we're just saying where our live wire class is home like that then of course i'm going to we can even use this route so i'm going to remove the function and what i'm going to just pass in here is home class like that so basically we are ready to test our application and i want to go to localhost 8000 and then see how it's going to display 
obviously now you can see we have a nice uh, nav bar here with home and when i click on home because we have wire navigate on it now you can see it's having a loader and also something that is spinning on this side but for these others we didn't do anything about it so it just do the normal refresh of course it has a name and so on and so forth and since this tutorial is sort of like an introduction to Mary UI, I want us to just paste some things inside the home.blade.php such that we can be able to see how they look like. So maybe the first thing I can be able to do, I'm going to just pick things that do not have anything that is required from the backend such that we do not have issues because I'm not intending to do so much to that extent. So I'm going to just to copy this form and I'm going to paste it in home.blade. And since we want one root element, I think this can be a good place to paste it. Now, if we are to refresh and our page will be refreshed using um, Vite, and you can see already we have a form being displayed. I'm getting an error because we have wire model amount, I think, somewhere. So you can see we are having wire model amount and wire model name. That is the reason because we have not declared it in the in the live wire class if you have been able to go through my tutorials about live wire this one you'll be something that will not be an issue for you to be able to follow and i also believe if you have not still you can just be able to follow through and see whatever it is that we have here so of course other things that we can be able maybe to look at you can see um we have alerts like this one if you want to attempt and see how they look like can be able to copy a bunch of them like those ones and I'm going to just paste them below the form such that we can also see that they will display very 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 nicely for us to see so basically that is how you can be able to use uh, Mary UI inside the live wire um, components and by the way I need to just show you among the others because there are some which do not have a lot of issues, but they, I want to I want us to look at um, a table, and this one I think it's it's good for for me to just say something about it. So here we have at PHP at end PHP. So this is the code that you are getting from the live wire class. So in other words, if you have a variable, then you can be able to just pass in inside the um, components like this, and you can be able to display the table and then. I have it like that. I'm not going to give it a try. Probably in future, I'll be able to do a video where I build an application, a full application using Mary UI. And I think that will give you a little bit more perspective. Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point. Subscribe to my channel. You can give us a thumbs up if you like the video and you can give us a comment. You can also share the video. Thank you very much.